Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Firstly, I'd like to wish every single one of you guys a happy and blessed Hallow's Eve. This is exciting, right? It's the beginning of all the holiday, all the seasons, uh, the holiday season, sorry. Um, so I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Anyways, let's get into your reading, Sagittarius. Spirit guides, ancestors, archangels. What are the messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? What is it that they need to know or that they need to hear at this present time? What is unfolding for them for this month of October 2021? One more shuffle. Let's get to it. All right, Sagittarius. First card. We have the Princess of Cups. Okay. We're talking about emotions. We're talking about honesty, feelings, right? Uh, something that may be foreign. We don't like to feel that way, right, Sagittarius? Um, but I definitely do see you guys embracing some type of emotion here. Your next card is the Prince of Cups. Wow. So we have the Princess and the Prince of Cups. Okay. <clears throat> so what I'm hearing is embracing or um, embracing or accepting feelings that you have. Now, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a situation where you have been taught or have been from experience it's almost like the moment that you embrace or the moment you accept feelings for someone um, it usually ends up you feeling like you're getting hurt uh, because what i'm hearing is you know emotions is weakness um, so for some of you guys this could represent almost like fighting um, internally fighting uh, to accept that you have feelings for someone and the reason I say that is we do have the princess and the prince. So there is reciprocation of feelings here in regards to um, a connection. But I feel that you guys are resisting or fighting that type of connection because you're scared for some of you guys, for others, you're scared of getting hurt again, or you are intimidated by uh, basically bringing your guard down is what I'm hearing. Now, your next card here is the prince of swords. Um, so there is definitely spying. There's definitely looking at this person either through social media, um, their Facebook, their Instagram, their Snapchat, that type of energy could be vice versa. It is a general reading. Um, but what I'm hearing here is looking or waiting for the perfect timing to take some type of action. Now, this could be you or this could be the person of your interest, but I definitely do see um, that the moment you're fully able or capable or willing to embrace this connection, things are going to start unfolding very, very quick with the Prince of Swords here. Prince of Swords goes directly to uh, where it wants to go, right? To their direction, to their, uh, on their journey. It's like there is no pumping brakes once they make that choice. Um, and we have the Empress card here. So I see you guys going towards... Um, this is a, a, a feminine energy however it doesn't have to be it is a general reading uh, but the empress is a person that is very um it's almost a representation of the the love right it's a representation of love of someone that could be motherly someone that is uh very genuine and very authentic this is a, a almost seeing them as everything you've always hoped for or wished for uh, for some of you guys, this could be the reason why there's a bit of hesitation because if it's almost like if you've been hoping and wanting to attract a certain type of partner in your life and all you've been dealing with is jokers, right? Uh, clowns, that type of energy. And the moment this person shows up and this person is, um, you know, they're focused, they're hardworking, they're abundant. Whatever it is that they do, they're very abundant. Uh, whether it's family, whether it's them being very like rooted, very uh, financially secure, whatever the situation is, like this person is at the peak of their, um, at the peak of their, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Achievements. They're at the peak of their achievements or creating um, and being able to achieve goals that they set themselves to or that they have uh, tried to conquer and have conquered. So again, I feel that for some of you guys, it could be almost a situation of 
feeling like there is something it's almost like you seeing them on a high pedestal and like i said if all you've dealt with are toxic people or people that are deceiving people that are dishonest and then this person shows up right this emperor shows up and you know through actions they they show you that they're very different from what you're accustomed to it's gonna be a bit daunting because you're not surely you know exactly uh certain how to approach this individual so again what they're telling you here is the moment you're willing to embrace and give yourself this opportunity sagittarius you're going to start to see things unfold rather quickly now your next card is the king of wands and this is your energy sagittarius so yeah i definitely feel that for the month of october you need to be honest with yourself sagittarius be honest with yourself in regards to um the per if you are dealing with a specific person uh, be honest with yourself in regards to the feelings that you have for this person. Don't fight it. Um, the more you fight it, I feel that you may get to the point of having missed an opportunity. Now, for others of you, what they're telling you is important and crucial for this month of October to be honest with yourself about what you feel in regards to those around you. If you're just not vibing with someone and they're toxic or they're negative or they're always talking about rumors, make the active decision to cut that away from your life to pull away from that you don't need that type of energy and being around those that instigate or being around those that um, as an example encourage you to drinking to going out to having fun having fun you know 24 hours a day seven days a week it's gonna deter you from your goals from your aspirations choose to be around those with empress energy those that can inspire you those that can feed your soul those that can guide you towards a the correct path which is to be able to manifest to be able to get to um, go towards the goals that you're wanting to achieve in life with the king of wands here showing up it's like this is a very very crucial time in your life right now sagittarius especially for the month of october to really experience the full potential of what emotional happiness or emotional stability is but you have to make that decision and go for it all right my lovelies i want to wish you guys all the very best and we'll see each other soon bye